Good morning. Uh, I am Thierry Vastio in charge of the sales of Interface Concept. Interface Concept is a designer and manufacturer of uh, embedded board and systems. And we love uh, bringing uh, the last innovative technologies into the embedded world. Today, I would like to provide some highlights about high-speed communication uh, within and between uh, high-performance embedded computer systems, mainly in uh, VPX uh, platforms. So talking about UAVs or UGVs or UVs, which are mainly the topic today, um, and talking about electronic warfare systems, uh, radar, search and track systems. In these uh, systems, you have mainly uh, three elements. The first one is about uh, uh, sensors. And here uh, we talk about sensors, including uh, RF sampling. You know that today uh, we are now with ADC able to sample at a speed of five gigabit per second, nearly right after the uh, sensor antenna. And uh, the resolution of these ADCs are about uh, something like 12 or 14 bits, meaning that you have for one channel a flow of data of about 70 gigabit per second. So at this rate, you cannot anymore, uh, let's say, uh, use the classical LVDSs uh, that we were using in the past. And that is why a, a new protocol has been engineered, which is the uh, GSED204B. And this is about serialize the samples to, uh, for, uh, to put them into uh, an FPGA. So uh, it means also that the, the, the Vita FMC standard will have to evolve. And it, is, it will be the, the uh, 57.4 standard and we are currently working on it. So it means also that this serial communication has to go into a front-end processing with a high-speed bus, so high-speed uh, service, and into an FPGA, an FPGA. And the FPGA will have to have also high-speed high transceivers to collect this, uh, these samples. So this is the first element. The second element is the front-end processing itself. The front-end processing itself is today mainly based on FPGAs. As you know, uh, and uh, the reason is, is, is twofold. The first, uh, first reason is that uh, you can uh, put in an FPGA a tremendous amount of resources for uh, parallel processing. Uh, you know that FPGAs are very good at uh, parallel processing uh, par at parallel processing, and uh, they are much better than processors in terms of uh, parallel, parallel processing power versus power consumption. About 10 times if you talk about uh, uh, classical Fourier transforms or these kind of transforms. So this is why uh, we are using uh, FPGAs. The second reason is that now in FPGAs, you have uh, really high-speed transceivers. You know that in the last generation of ultra-scale ultra plus from Xilinx, you have transceivers able to reach 30 uh, gigabit per second on one service. So uh, it means uh, a lot of uh, data can be crunched in the, in the FPGA. So this is a second part, the front-end processing. Uh, on top of this, you have to move data from this uh, uh, parallel uh, processing FPGA to the back-end processing. So the front-end processing is good for uh, beam forming, for instance, or fil filtering. The back end will deal with uh, uh, detection, tracking, this kind of thing. Back end is using classically CPUs. Um, 
today a lot of Intel CPUs. So it means multi-root complex uh, communication, and uh, I, will, uh, I will come back to that. So for all these uh, high-speed communication, it is clear that the best standard today on the market is uh, VPX. So this is why we are using VPX. Um, so today it is uh, the, the, the best uh, technology you, you can use. So you know that in VPX you have data plane, data plane and control plane. On the data plane, we have uh, a, a strategy which is the following. Um, we use two protocols. The first one is PCI Express. Uh, the nice thing with PCI Express is that it is uh, low latency. It is also low power. But there is a drawback. The drawback is that uh, this uh, protocol is uh, very much pushed by um, by Intel, and the architecture is uh, from a root complex to the endpoint. So a root complex is managing its own kingdom of endpoints. So it means that when you, ha you, 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 you get a root complex, you want a root complex to communicate together, you need a special, let's say, middleware. And we have invested a lot on uh, a, a software package, which is called the multiware. And this multiware enables root complex communication inside a high uh, performance uh, embedded computer system. So this uh, software package is uh, able today to manage what we call the H topology. The H topology means that uh, it is when you have two uh, non-transparent bridge, each one connected to a root complex, connected together. So this is a special topology which is uh, very much seen in uh, uh, embedded systems. And we are now covering this, uh, architect this uh, topology. And the second very important point, and I will come back to this, this is the capability of uh, remote direct memory access. So the second protocol is 10 gig, 40 gig Ethernet. You know about it. The, um, so there are three main uh, points to highlight here. First of all, to a low, low latency, the, the, the drawback of Ethernet is a little bit the latency. To a low, low latency, we are now um, using what we call cut-through architecture. You know, when a, an Ethernet frame is coming into a switch, usually in the past, we used to, to use uh, uh, store and forward meaning that you store the frame, you check it, and then you forward it to the uh, um, address, uh, uh, to the destination address. So uh, today we, we use the, the cut-through architecture to uh, decrease the latency. It means that you forward the frame as soon as you start receiving it. The second point is that we are now able to build uh, 10, 40 gigabit uh, switches, gigabit Ethernet switches, which are able to move up to 340 gigabit per second. So you see it is a tremendous amount of data, and uh, you, cannot, you, you, you can see that now in uh, new uh, systems. The last uh, point is about RDMA, uh, and I will uh, come back to this. Uh, and of course, this is for the data plane, and for the control plane, usually this is simply uh, Giga Ethernet. So RDMA, RDMA is remote direct memory access. With this um, a tremendous amount of data, it is uh, no more possible to, let's say, to move the data uh, with a processor. Roughly, as uh, a thumb rule, a processor is moving one bit of data for one clock bit, roughly. So it means that you cannot use a CPU to move data at very, very high speed. So that's why RDMA was uh, engineered, was developed. And there are three technologies of RDMAs. There is iWarp, 
which is uh, RDMA over TCP, TCP IP, which is uh, Intel uh, driven, I would say. There is ROCE, which is uh, RDMA over uh, Converge in Ethernet, and there is InfiniBand. So we have chosen in interface concept the uh, IWARP uh, way of doing RDMA. And the benefits are uh, also what, what it is uh, really, it is moving data from one memory to another memory, one memory of a root complex of, or a FPGA to another memory at a high speed without the use of a CPU. So the benefits are low latency and also uh, high throughput. The zero copy capability, this, is, this means basically not using a CPU. Um, you know, CPU uh, with using Linux are making uh, context switches, so we try to avoid that. And this is uh, this uh, zero copy uh, capability. And uh, of course, uh, OS stack bypass which means that we are not going through, uh, uh, for instance, a TCP IP stack. It is much too slow. So this is the, the, the principles of RDMAs, which are really uh, mandatory now. It comes from the server side. And as you know, we bring this technology into the embedded world. And this is, uh, this is a nice thing. Now, um, Coming back to the multiware, you see here a picture of uh, what we have developed. So uh, basically, you, we have developed on top of the hardware, we have developed uh, uh, some engines and some uh, transfer layers. So these are, let's say, low level functions for, um, let's say, sharing memory between the root complexes. And um, in, on the green layer, you see that uh, the services which are provided by this uh, software package, you see a virtual Ethernet, meaning that this is the, the software developer thinks is working on Ethernet. In fact, he is working on PCI Express, but he doesn't know that. Um, you have uh, I.O. devices, uh, SysFS, which is, let's say, your virtual uh, file management. And uh, of course, RDMA, RDMA. So there will be a, a, in, in this uh, software package uh, um, uh, RDMA uh, API, so that again the software developer will be able to use the RDMA functions uh, to move data, and it will be uh, done not on 10 gig or 40 gig Ethernet, but it, it will be it, it will be done on PCI <coughs> PCI Express. So. Basically, that's, th these are the features we want to implement for very high-speed communication in, into the systems.